love YA books. I will forever love YA books. That's young adult books if you're new. If you take a look at my channel, pretty much all my videos are YA books. However, there have just been some popular YA books that I have just never been interested in reading no matter what. I purchased some of those books and we're gonna discuss in a haul. My name is Amber Elise. My obsession is with books. If you two are obsessed with books, then great. I make videos on them every single week. So sit back, relax, subscribe, and enjoy because you have come to the right place. I really don't know the direction that this video is going to go. Like, I don't think you understand that I had zero interest in reading any of these. Some of these I have tried reading like years ago and just no. But maybe my thoughts will change and I'll love them. Probably not, but maybe. Let's get started. We're not gonna get too deep into the plots of these books. I'm sure by now most of you have heard of these or read them. We're just gonna talk. The first book we have is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Yeah, I'm not that excited to read this one. I'm not going to lie. And in my defense, I gave this a try years ago. I think I was in high school and it was just a no. Mm -mm. Nope. The concept is cute, right? There's a girl, she likes a vampire. There's problems because of that, obviously. I even watched one of the movies because my friend was like, you wanna go see it? And I was like, not really, but okay. And so we went, I don't even remember what happened. There was a baby, that's all I remember. And I wasn't really drawn to that. I'm open to it because this is so popular and there just was such a hype around this book at one point. I do not want to just throw it out the window, but also I'm just like, Twilight. Please let me know if you are a Twilight fan or if this just didn't do it for you either. Cause I don't know, this just didn't do it. I'll let you know what I think if I get through it. No, I'll finish it and I'll let you guys know. Okay, next we're going to talk about the perks of being a wall, I call this wildflower, hold on. The perks of being a wallflower by Stephen Chabosky, Chabosky. First of all, is this book always as little or is this just the version that I have? This is interesting because at the time, I am not going to lie, this plot just seemed so boring to me. I wasn't drawn to the book the movie, I just, it just sound, it didn't entice me at all. And I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm probably never going to read this. But I will say now rereading the plot, I'm like, maybe I'll find this more interesting now that I've lived a bit more life. I know it's about a guy going from being a kid into an adult and dealing with what that entails. It's still not something I'm just itching to read, but I feel like it will be a little bit more relatable now. And it doesn't seem like it's too long. I think I'll get through it pretty fast. But if you all read this, let me know. Was it interesting to you? Did you find the plot interesting? I know it's very popular, so clearly a lot of people did, but what are your thoughts on the perks of being a wolf? Flower. Nothing much to say about this one. I guess I'll just have to read it and find out how I feel about it. Okay, so this next book is a bit of a unicorn because I'm actually really excited to read it now. And I don't know how this has never been on my radar. And that is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Did I say that right? I hope so. So this one I'm confused by because I loved Eleanor and Park. Reading the synopsis of this, I'm like, this sounds so cute, but I just was not drawn to this book. I never had any interest in reading this. And to be honest, I don't know if I ever really looked into the plot. She's essentially like a huge fan of this celebrity named Simon. And her twin sister was also into Simon, but she's kind of growing out of all of that. And they're about to go to college and her twin sister doesn't want to be roomed mates with her. So now our main character is on her own in college and she's out of her comfort zone. So it kind of goes into, can she do this? Can she be on her own? I'm really excited about this one and I can't believe it took me so long to jump on board, but hopefully I love it like everybody else and it becomes one of my YA favorites. This next book is definitely more of a booktube influence because I was not really around for it during the height of its existence. And that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I'll give this cover its props. It's a pretty awesome cover. She looks legit. I mean, the concept is cool. She's competing to be a new royal assassin. And then she has to figure out why her competitors are being killed. I mean, not bad. A lot of my issues with this book probably had to do with my lack of interest in fantasy books. Maybe with time, I'll be into this, but like I tried the first chapter, really wasn't that 
like impressed, but I mean, it is only the first chapter. So I'm not drawn to this. Like I've been drawn to the two fantasy books that I've recently read, but like, it sounds cool. It sounds cool. But like, is that enough for me? I don't know. I think now that I've instilled some fantasy reading serum inside of me that maybe it will activate my interest in this book. We'll see. I mean, I'm not jumping up and down to read it, but I'm open to it. And maybe I'll come back and say, this was the best thing ever guys. You have to check it out. That may be a stretch, but we'll see. Finally, we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The odd thing about this book is it is so popular amongst people who do not really like reading, at least the people that I've met. When I talk to people about books, most of the time, a lot of them do not care for reading. But the first thing they'll say is, but I did read the Harry Potter series. Did you read the Harry Potter series? Did you watch the movies? Did you like them? No, no, and no. Again, I don't know why I am not drawn to this book or the movies, but I'm not. It sounds so cute. Harry learned that he's a wizard. He attends a school for wizards and he learns more about his destiny. It sounds lovely, but I'm just not interested. Now, I have not even tried reading the book, but I have tried watching the movies. I have had a few people try to get me to watch the movies. I just wasn't that into it, but I really do think now the way my interests have evolved, I will probably like it more. So Harry Potter fans, please don't beat me up if you see me on the streets. I will read this book, I will watch the movie, and I will hopefully find it enjoyable. And if I do, I will continue the series. But if I don't, you will also know. But we're putting good vibes out that I will enjoy little Harry and his adventures. All right guys, that concludes the book haul. Like I said, I'm not crazy excited about reading these books, but I think it would be fair of me to have a strong opinion on them if I didn't give them a fair chance. I would love to know your honest thoughts on these books. Did you love them? Which one was your favorite? Did you not like any of them? Please let me and everyone else know. This video has come to an end, but I will see you all soon in the next video. With that said, until we meet again, go read.